The Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act of 1986, or EPCRA, was created to help communities plan for emergencies involving hazardous substances. EPCRA establishes requirements for federal, state, and local governments, Indian tribes, and industry. EPCRA sets standards for emergency planning and community right-to-know information reporting on hazardous and toxic chemicals. EPCRA helps the public by allowing them to understand and have access to information on what chemicals are stored in their community, how they are transported, what the hazards are, what actions they need to take if there's a release, whether it's intentional or accidental, um, whether or not they need to shelter in place or evacuate. Um, it allows them to um, plan for circumstances where they really do have a life and death decision to make. Information is power uh, and in this business today um, if I know going to an address uh, or going to a location that there are other hazards there that it's not your run-of-the-mill building fire there are chemicals involved that will definitely better help us serve the community that we're here to take care of. The community right to know provisions help increase the public's knowledge and access to information on chemicals at individual facilities, their uses, and releases into the environment. States and communities working with facilities can use the information made available under EPCRA to improve chemical safety and protect public health and the environment. One of the things that we use our Tier 2 reporting program for is we bring the information right up to the fingertips of our responders who respond out for emergencies at those locations. Uh, guys who are responding to calls in that area can bring the tier two reporting form up for that facility uh, right to their fingertip and tell what the chemicals are that are, that are being stored in there. The danger of not knowing um, what chemicals are in your community is that you can't prepare for them. Um, you can't establish plans on what to do with your family and evacuation routes and um, whether or not it's safe to enter a particular area. Uh, you can't plan on things like how many emergency responders are needed for a community, what kind of firefighting equipment is needed, how many first responders are necessary, what does the hospital need to be ready for if something does happen. It's an outstanding planning tool.